Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episodes 13 and 14. I almost hit myself in the face. Yeah! <laughs> episode 13 and 14 of Dr. Stones. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 13. And three, two, one, go. Damn, poor Sanker. <laughs> we can make ibuprofen! Did I put my phone? Is my phone over there? Shit, my phone. It is over there. I wanted to check my phone. It's okay. Gonna make some heavy puppy. <laughs> well, I mean, I ain't gonna say it looks like a bong, but kind of. But it is a bunch of Well, it, it's a tube, guys. Yes. Chlorine. Oh, God, I hate when I do that. More. Point. God damn it. I would get the freaking hiccups. Yeah, so you know if somebody. No, 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 no. <laughs> they have to use it to make the medicine. <laughs> and besides, they're not going to give her, like, a big behind dosage. It's got to be something small. Oh, 
Well, I mean, in a way, science is kind of like magic. Really, we're not making ibuprofen. We're making Tylenol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, still, have y'all not made glasses for this boy? I mean, damn. She's a high headed babe. <laughs> okay. What? H hold on, boys. Uh, don't you think this is a bad idea? I mean, th this is Senku we're talking about. Babe has, like, no fighting skills. Oh, so that by the time... Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. <laughs> We're not even, not even a dumbass. They smart asses today. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I know. Well, I mean, if it's in the way to savory, so. Then we do it. Maybe they interacted, you know, before the world went to shit.
okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. She was about to say something very fucking important. What the fuck was she about? You can't just have her say that and then, like, expect me to wait. Or possibly not even get that answered. <clears throat> Twitter, here I come. <laughs> like, probably after this. Damn. <laughs> Do I have a drink, Aaron? There's got to be something in it. Just throw the skull inside of it. So what's the energy drink? Right, I, I, I mean, he about to, he might not be high, but he's definitely going to feel something.
Okay, but at least let someone go with you. You can't go by yourself, especially during this situation. Can we just kick him off the bridge? I mean, I, I hate the fact that I said that, surely. But we know he's secretly lying, and, and, you know, that'll make me feel better. Kicking him off the fridge. Yes. <laughs> oh. I, I really don't like him. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. That's like, he gives major ick vibes. Like, Well, all that training, duh. What you think he, well, what did you, what did he do the whole entire time? Sat on his ass. You trained while the other one sat on his behind.
<laughs> she must have thrown the heck out of her helmet. <laughs> Do you see the calluses he had on his feet? Like, mm-mm. You can change it! That's how you end the episode. <laughs> I'm glad he, he's able to see because, you know, eh? But it seems like a little teeny tiny bit of me cannot take him serious. Remember how, like, when... <laughs> you know, it was a Goku. Go on. The great, the great singer man. <laughs> if I could go back in time... And freaking rewatch those Dragon Ball Z episodes. <laughs> I mean, those were the best episodes, though. Because they were just so good for his character. But I just could not take him seriously. <laughs> and I mean, the thing is, you're not supposed to. But it, it was so fucking funny. <laughs> I kind of secretly want to rewatch Dragon Ball Z. But that, that's a long road. I don't know if I could stomach that again, like, especially with everything. Okay. But see, here's the thing. Kohaku is not back. She's still out there. So, like, we got a whole nother episode for her to get back here. It's too much. But for a first match, like... Damn, that was good. I, I hate the fact that it turned out the way match was of who was going against who because we were all expecting that match to be the final match. And we're like, oh yeah, my god, easy peasy, lemon squeezy ish. But you know, it can't always be like that. You have to automatically go against like <sighs> it's either the friends or the people you hate. Like the first round, you're like, goddamn, great, just fucking great. It's like the same thing when you're at work. You're doing stuff that you don't really want to do. But you're doing it because you get paid. Or you deal with certain customers that you don't really feel like dealing with. And you're like, hmm, maybe I'm overstaying my welcome. Yes. Do you understand? You understand? You understand my, my predominant? My pardon? Yes. Mm -hmm. But no, the episode was good. I'm just... I'm hoping she makes it back in time because that's the biggest thing. Now, the other question of this whole episode as well, Rui saying something to Senku, getting close to saying his last name and saying possibly, are you maybe related or is your last name this? Now, the thing is, yeah, and, and in a weird way, yes, 13 episodes in with this show and we have not heard his name, his last name. So... It is a little skeptical because whatever she was about to say, we're probably not, not going to hear anything about that until the end of this season, going into season two, going into season three. Once again, the 
I love how we're doing this. Like, yes, we're getting the good, th- the big, big questions and the big, like, um, theories and, you know, situations going on in, like, the first season because that is typically what it is. And then, because, like, I'll, I'll say this. I don't want this show to be, like, a certain other sh- <laughs> shonen type show where at the time of, I will say, it's peakness. And you probably know what show I'm talking about because I used to be a big behind fan of this show and now I literally cannot watch this season at all. Or just because I'm like, I'm, uh, one day I'll do a video on it, but not today. Um, but I think due to the situation of things that happened with the pandemic and then, you know, it being at its most popular and such and then... Uh, I can't really consider myself a fan of that show anymore. But when they finally did the one thing in that series that I was like, oh my God, they're finally doing this. They're, we're finally going to know like who this person, um, this quote unquote traitor is and such. And when uh, there were moments in time, I'll say like maybe what, like season three, three, maybe four, where... Um, they talked about it, but we didn't really necessarily get the answer. So when we finally get the freaking answer, later in, like, chapter, <clears throat> I don't even fucking know, <laughs> it, it doesn't feel, I think the payoff and everything that I was expecting for it was just, my, my, I think my reaction to it was just, like, not the greatest. I was like, oh, okay, we're finally here, like, goddamn, we're... We're finally at this moment. And that's what I'm hoping this show doesn't do, where it's like, oh, hey, we're <laughs> we're going to talk about this, and then we, we talk about it again some other time, and then we never bring it up again. And then when we finally do, that payoff isn't, you know, worthwhile and stuff, where it's like, I'm like, oh, yes, oh, my God, I've been waiting for this for, like, X amount of years or X amount of days and shit like that. Because with that other show... That's how I felt. That's how I still currently feel. I wonder when that show is going to end, too. Because we're, we're going into, like, what, season seven? Seven? Yes? Is anybody still... Because I got to I gotta ask. Is anybody or any of my particular selves, are y'all still watching that show? Like, if you are, good good for you. I, I literally, you know, have to, like, collapse all around because... As someone who was reading the manga, like, after season three, three, are we after two, one, and two, three, three, I can't, I don't, I don't want to say what it is, but because that's going to give spoilers, but I think my last, like, big, big reaction video for it was not really season three, it was very recent, so it had to be either season five or season six, because we're on season seven as of next month. Or less than a week. So, um, because the big, big thing I wanted and I was other, the other big, big thing I was waiting for, they literally did some shit and then they screwed it up. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like for people who are still watching that show, I mean, hey, props to you straight up. Like, uh, I, I don't even think I could have the stomach to like continue on that show because of the fandom. Yes. <laughs> surely, but surely, 100%. Fuck yes, the fandom. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 14. All right, episode 14 in three, two, one, go. Now that I finally, you know, I didn't get the answer to the question yet, but let's fucking go. The fact that he also hit him in. <laughs> like, his face should just be like. <laughs>
Against the rules, he can't even. He can barely see. I call bullshit on that. I knew that shit was going to happen. That's bullshit. But we're getting another opening. But that's still bullshit, though. <laughs> See? Moral of the story is never turn your back on someone. Oh my god. That's <laughs> bullshit. No, clock is not here yet. She went to go look for you. You can't see. Right? So... Yeah. 
Ah, oh, shit. This bullshit shit was right there! <laughs> he still has to sit in his mouth like fucking cat. What you gonna do? Spit it? Spit <laughs> in his face in his face. Oh my god, he is. <laughs> oh my god, if he... Please hurry up and make that child some glasses.
Well, that's smart. I think he know I I can't speak. I think I know what he's about to do. Remember, there's still glass in one of those. Attach that correctly to the sign. Boom. Fire. Fire. Or to make him blind. But no, fire. Which means he can't start a fire. Right? You're not gonna...
I mean, that's like on Takamaki level of acting. Ah, oh, thank God. be like hey yo I'm out I don't want to lay in here anymore so I'm gonna go hang out with the lady love you mommy <laughs> okay all right I mean in the end everything is going their way in their favor really smart on Chrome for doing that because like I mean for me especially thinking about it and when he instantly saw what your face is like watermelon helmet I'm thinking okay yeah there's only like one glass frame in there so what the heck are you gonna do and i'm like thinking like yeah and i'm like yeah fire because i mean that's the the instant thing i would think of as well because i'm like hey yo magnifying glass hit it at a really good angle on the sun and then boom you know i mean but in a weird way and i cannot believe i'm gonna say this like any other kind of science show that i've watched you know how, like, when people, and maybe you did this too, when you were a kid, and let's say you did get a magnifying glass, and let's say it's, like, a really hot day outside, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do things for science, and such, and you end up, uh, taking the magnifying glass and such, you shine it up to the sun, and you just kill a whole bunch of ants. I never did that, but I have seen <laughs> so many shows and such, never knew of a person who did that, but I'm like, eh. Doesn't that secretly tell you how like stuff really good and stuff like that is like, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of. I, I mean, cause like, you know, with killers, they want to start with and then work their way up to this and then this and then next thing you know, lethal. So maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe.
that's a question we all have to think about today. <laughs> but no, I'm seriously happy. Thank God. Like, and that makes me wonder, like, with these next three flashes, I mean, well, not three, two matches, are we just going to, like, throw the towel in? You're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you hurt me. <laughs> like oh my god you hurt me so bad I'm like ah. <laughs> and i mean because we technically saw it at 13 but I, I mean i okay so calm got a really good kind of semi fight really good let's say i don't think senku's gonna be, be in the final i mean if <laughs> no there's no Anne hall because it's thank you <laughs> But I, I love the fact that Jen makes a surprise appearance because of the fact is like, of course, just like in the openings, because surprisingly he's there and you're just like, okay, like what else is he going to, what mischievous little thing are you going to do now and such? And then yes, acting top tier, like once again, on Takamaki ish, like on Takamaki would definitely be proud because you know, that is the queen of fake acting and such. Watch Nana Mizuki end up being in the final season of this show and I'm just gonna be over here like, well, there we go. <laughs> but no, she's top tier. Cause duh, that's not a freaking Mizuki. But I mean, we're, everything's in their favor. That's the biggest thing that I'm really truly proud about. Now, we just gotta make the ibuprofen slash Tylenol. <laughs> So hopefully next week we do see the conclusion of this. I don't know what's going to happen next after that, of course. Like, we're going to possibly get Rui officially cured, healthy. Maybe she'll answer that question next week. I'm not 100% sure, but of course, gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Dr. Stone. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos of Chill and I. Join the Master Squad. And of course, and I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 15 and 16. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.